believe we are nearing the end of Art Prize, but there are still plenty of opportunities to get out and take in art, meet creatives, and in this case, take something beautiful home with you. We are talking about the Merchants and Makers Market at Art Prize. Saturday is the last day this is happening. We have got Shia Lyons from Merchants and Makers with us and Rachel Hull of Rachel Hull Art, and you brought so many beautiful pieces. Thank, Thank you, you both so much for being here. Thank All you right, Shia. Let's talk about this. This is the yes. third week, um, and it's been a great, great event for people. It has. You know, it's been so awesome for people to be able to buy art from local artists. Not only are you coming to enjoy Art Prize and see what's happening and take in the art, but you're also able to come and meet the artists. So many of our artists are Art Prize artists, including Rachel. And so you're able to meet Art Prize artists, purchase items directly from them, and then also meet makers um, who are not a part of Art Prize, but have a really unique, exciting product as well. Absolutely. So it's a cool opportunity to be at Art Prize. And I think it's really been a great opportunity for Art Prize to have an option where people can shop because I just, you know, I've always wanted to buy some things from different artists I see and it's a good chance to get to do that. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, Rachel, so you've been there the last two weeks. This is the third one this week. Yes. Your art is stunning. Thank um, you. Talk a little bit about obviously very inspired by West Michigan. Yes, very much so. <laughs> so it all kind of started for me um, in 2019 and then 2020 hit and I had nothing but time. Mm -hmm. So, but also not a lot of places to go. So I just started painting what I saw um, and kind of found my style and then started sharing it and it's just kind of taken off and it's been such a joy. Wow. So you just started painting randomly. I, you know, I had an art degree and then I was teaching and didn't have a lot of time to paint. So then once I had the time, I just decided to dive back in and it's been amazing. I love that. All right, so talk about your experience. You've been to both of these so far. You yeah. got a third one. It's been it's been really good. I think everybody's been um, really positive. Child's done a great job creating an awesome atmosphere uh, of artists, creatives, and then people wanting to purchase, I think. Um, yeah, the heat has been a lot, but right. hopefully it'll be cooler this weekend. Yeah, I think so. It's and then if better. people want to check out your piece in Art Prize, where is that at? That is at City Flats Hotel, okay. and it's right in the lobby. So you okay. can see it from the window. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. All right, Child. So we, and you have so many vendors at this plus yes. food, plus music. Let's talk about all the other things people can experience. Yes. So we have around 100 local makers. So massive variety of products and we also have six food trucks so you can get um, anything from kettle corn and lemonade to tacos burritos pizza there's lots of great options so you can get um also we have had a crepes Dessert like too. breakfast yes we've had <laughs> ice cream and <laughs> all the things and so we have coffee so you can come right away for your coffee um you can you know get something for lunch i tend to get something breakfast lunch and dinner from the food trucks because <laughs> why not you're there i'm there <laughs> might as well enjoy it it's right. all delicious. And then we also have live music all day. So, and our musicians are really fantastic. So you'll be impressed by their skill level. They're fantastic. And then you can also get drinks. So what's cool is we're in the social district. So you're able to go to Speakeasy Lounge right across the street, Noodle Pig, different locations around um, the community, get a drink and walk through the market with a drink as well. I love that. Yeah. I love that so much. And, you know, how does it feel for you to, to mm -hmm. be able to bring this together with Art Prize? It's such a big event. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's a little, a little extra piece, a little diversion yes. for people. Yes. It's been really fun. Art Prize has been fabulous to work with. They have an amazing team and have done a fantastic job. And so I've really enjoyed working directly with Art Prize. Um, I've loved Art Prize for years. I've always gone and walked around and experienced it. And I think it's a really beautiful thing that it's provided provided to the community as this free opportunity to see art and an opportunity for artists to put their art out there. So I do think that having the market is just an extra. It's like a really nice way for people to support people directly and shop and just get to see a little bit more of Grand Rapids because not every artist has something in Art Prize and not every person who creates something has something in Art Prize. So they're able to also see some really talented people who maybe didn't um, participate in Art Prize but are still local people who are doing great art. Yeah, and it's not, it doesn't always fall under the category either, correct, you know, correct, of what these yes. people are putting out. You know, you don't see a lot of jewelry in Art Prize and things right. like that. So. And we do. We have a lot of jewelry. We have a lot of, you know, bath and body products and kids products. 
lots of great like consumables. So like things you'd see at a farmer's market that aren't vegetables, you know, fruits and vegetables, <laughs> but we have florists, we have all kinds of fantastic things. So it is a good place to get a gift for somebody that's hard to shop for. Um, I know it, Christmas is going to be is three months away, people. Like, <laughs> yes, is that, it's I'm sorry. Fast. I know. And our next market, this is our last market until the holidays. We don't have oh. a market until November. So okay. well, this, this is, is also your chance. There you go. So come awesome. and shop from 10 to 6. 10 to 6 on We're Saturday. We're at 555 Monroe, which is right next to the skate park across the street from the Speakeasy Lounge. Okay. It is less than a half a mile from DeVos. Yeah. So you just have to turn away from Rosa Park Circle and go the other way down Monroe. Yeah, just head north. And you'll find us. Just head north. And it's, yeah. it is a very And there's very parking over walk. there, too. Like, parking so is a little easier parking. over there than it is downtown. You know, I've so been it's going... a good place to start, maybe. Absolutely. Right? I've been going to Art Prize, and I have been parking by 555 every single time. Because yeah, there's it's so much tons easier. of parking. Yeah. So easy. And it's a really short walk. Walk, yes, so. absolutely. Oh, well, thank yeah. you both so much. Rachel, your you. art is beautiful. Thank what a great you. opportunity <laughs> for people to pick up something to take home with them or buy a gift for Christmas. I am sh shrieking as I think that. <laughs> okay, there you go. You want more information about all of the markets, merchantsandmakers.com. This is happening all day Saturday, 10 a.m., 6 p.m., 555 Monroe. We'll be right back.